Hey everybody, Quad Nines here with another late night pack opening. We've got two more uh, Theros packs. Um, I'm in between rounds of a sweet cube draft on Magic Online, in which not only did I first pick Primeval Titan, but uh, Wield Natural Order. Got Past Marari's Wake. Um, another really big one. Oh, got Past Sword of Fire and Ice. And wield every dual line I wanted. So, oh, and oh, tooth and nail. Got past tooth and nail. So I was the only one in green, specifically green white. But uh, I'm also splashing everything because I can. Got strip mine. Um, yeah, just some pretty cool cards. Anyway, on the packs. I don't know if I have any way of posting this this deck, but it is quite cool. Round round one was. A little easy, so we'll see how the next two rounds go. On the packs, we'll look up all the cards. We'll go on to the packs. God's Willing, uh, awesome card here. Gray Merchant of something or other. Astell. Anyway, that's it. It's good. It drains them. It's a very good draft. Uh, Prescient Chimera. Don't know all these yet. Savage Surge. Three print. Uh, the Unicorn. Opaline Unicorn. Who was that? Defend the Hearth, I think it's like the Fog for the set. Yeah, the two mana Fog. Um, Leonin Snare Caster. Uh, this one then destroys enchantments. Yeah, Priest of Arrows. Arrows or something. Read the Bones. No, that one. Uh, this is Thassa's Bounty. Yeah, draw on the cards. Yeah, you draw three cards and mail three for somebody. Sometimes you can ask them. Um, our Artisan Sorrow. Destroy no effects. Uh, Mogus's Marauder. This guy is also pretty good mono black. Just saying, if I had like two of these and two gray merchants, I'd be a happy camper. Ooh, the uh, Triton Fortune Hunter, as uh, McQuack says. Oh, and we have the rare is Gift of Immortality. Mm, so good. And a Harpy token. Sweet. Um, I don't know about Gift of Immortality. It's probably good in ADH. I don't think I didn't play it in like limited. This is like most time you just rather have another threat, another creature. I guess you play if you have to, but most time you just rather another creature. Uh, Sip of Hemlock, uh, the Bronze Sable, um, Messenger Speed, Mnemonic Wall, reprint, awesome card. Uh, what is the Death Bell Raider? Which is the 2-3 two, for 2 that attacks each turn, but it has regenerate. I mean, where's the drawback? Uh, the Savage Surge again. That's one of the um, Spear Point Oread, which is one of the better um, bestow creatures. It bestows for 6, but it gives you plus 2, plus 2 in first strike. So pretty sweet. Um, the big, what is it? Vulpine Goliath. It's the biggest fox ever. It's a 6-5 with Trample. Uh, Yoked Ox, which is seen play in the Esper list, like is the only creature. It's in the sideboard, but yeah, it's a 0 4 for one. So, once you play Kraken Hatch, one, you got blue. Yep. He's just trying to play a new card, don't uh, Baleful Eidolon, the 2 mana to play or 5 mana to bestow, plus 1, plus 1 Death Touch. So, I like this guy. Favorite Hoplite. Um, oh, Battle Wise, sorry. Battle Wise. Favorite, I think, the mono white one. But Battle Wise is good. You can, uh, Scry one and put a plus one plus one counter each time you target it. It's not irrelevant. And Vanquish the Foul, which is already not sweet. It's really expensive removal, but for limited, you just kind of get what you can to do. And this is favorite top light. I thought that's rare. I miscounted. Okay, this should be there. I don't even cool. I opened one of these, but it's still pretty cool. I, but as my mythic, it's like, eh, yeah, don't need one more. I just put it in the cage, but you know, it is a mythic, it is a cool Gorgon, it's got a really cool monstrous ability that I hope to get cast at least once in draft. So, um, Gift of Immortality and High Founding of the Cruel, not the worst. Um, like I said, hopefully I'll get a box soon, get to upload that, maybe get some some gods or uh, planeswalkers. I really need Ashiok. I hope it doesn't skyrocket with its use in Esper because I won't replace it. And hopefully a foil, and I don't want to spend two hundred dollars to get those. So, if you have some and you're reasonable, want to trade, 
Except for trading at like 20 or 25. I have no problem with that. Uh, let me know. Thanks for watching.